going to be doing a what's in my bag slash purse organization video. I figured it'd be more helpful to show you guys how I organize my purse rather than just pulling stuff out of my bag and show you guys what I carry around because it's nothing special and I'm sure everyone pretty much carries around the same stuff. So if you're interested, then keep watching and I hope you find this helpful. So this is what I use to organize my purse, it's called a purse kit, and what it is, is a removable purse organizer. So basically it creates pockets inside of your purse, so this is super helpful if you have a one compartment purse or you need more pockets for organization. It also supports the side of your purse if it's flimsy, and the great thing is that it comes in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. I personally got the small one and it works for me. It also comes in different designs. And this is what it looks like when you remove it from the box. And when you insert it into your purse, you can basically shape it how you want. This purse kit is especially useful for those of you who have multiple purses because instead of moving each individual item over when you're switching purses, you can just move the one purse kit over and it contains all the items you need right there. This is what the purse kit looks like in my LV Speedy 30 and the small size fits pretty well but if you want it to wrap all the way around you're going to have to go with a medium or a large purse kit. My favorite part of the purse kit is this little key holder in here so instead of digging around in your purse your keys are always right there for you. This is what my purse looked like before any purse organizer and as you can see things are really scattered and it's hard to find stuff. Items that should be hidden and tucked away like the tampon are not. And here is what my purse looked like after the purse organization. So there's things that go into specific pockets and everything is just so much more organized. everyday purse. This is the Longsham Medium Shoulder Tote. I'm just going to briefly go into some pros and cons of this bag and then I'll show you guys how I organize everything. So the main reason why I love this bag is just because it's so practical. It's really lightweight, it's waterproof, and it holds a lot of stuff. It's also available in a number of different styles and colors. So this is the medium size. I also have a large size. So this is the large tote in the color bilberry. This is a really, really pretty plum grape color. I really love this, this color. This is a large size. This is perfect for travel or if you're a student and you carry a lot of books, this is perfect. But for every day for work, I use my medium shoulder tote. And I'll just show you guys the size difference. It's pretty significant once you put stuff in, but this is the medium. I really like the drop length. It's kind of perfect for my height, I'm 5'4". I really like this bag. And here's the large size. So it's a significantly larger. You would not believe how much stuff this bag holds. It's super comfortable. So that's one of the reasons why I love this bag. It's practical and it's available in so many different colors. And they also have um, totes with short handle. Now some of the cons of this bag is one, it's quite pricey for a nylon material bag. The retail price for the medium tote is $125. The large one is $145 retail price. I would definitely recommend looking for a sale. It's very common that you'd be able to use promo codes to purchase these bags. I personally got my two bags from Bloomingdale's.com for over 20% off. And a side note, Bloomingdale's, if you sign up for their email, subscription you get a 10% off coupon email to you within like a few days so that is one thing to consider I would definitely recommend not buying these retail price but waiting for a good deal to come by uh, which isn't uncommon so that's one of the cons it's quite pricey for a nylon bag another potential con of this bag is that it is very common especially in my area I live on the East Coast and it seems like every other woman carries this bag at first I didn't want to buy this bag because of that reason but after doing a lot of research and looking for a practical everyday bag it finally came back to this so I don't regret my purchase at all it's not really a big deal if um, a lot of people have the same bag, at least it's not the same color, usually. So another thing about this bag is that if you don't have a lot of stuff in it, it will be quite flimsy just because it's a very lightweight, thin nylon material. So if you don't carry a lot of stuff, it'll just kind of look flat and hang. But I do carry quite a lot of stuff, so it's not an issue for me. And the last thing that I want to mention about this bag is that it only has one small inside compartment and it's right here on top. 
right here. Pretty small, no zipper, and it's quite shallow. You can see where it ends right here. So you can probably fit like your iPhone and maybe a few, like a pack of gum in there and that's it. So other than that, it's just one large compartment and the small one inside. So with that said, because it's flimsy if you don't have a lot of things and because there's only one small inner compartment, I will show you guys how I organize my purse to make it work for me. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look at what's in my purse and how I organize everything. So first I have an umbrella because it rains too often and the weather forecast is never right. I also have gloves because it's really cold here. These gloves my friend got for me for Christmas. I really love them. They're Ralph Lauren and the tips of the forefinger and your thumb are touch phone friendly so I can use my iPhone while I'm wearing gloves. I also have my glasses case. My, a lot of the times my contacts become dry after working like 8 to 10 hours so I just pop them out. I wear daily contacts so I just pop them out, throw them out and then I'll wear my glasses. Here's my planner. My wallet. I've been meaning to get a new wallet but this is a wallet I've, I've had for years. It's my coach wallet. I like how it has a zipper though. Um, secures everything safely inside. Um, then I have earmuffs. These are a necessity for me here. Got these from H&M for like five, six dollars. I have some makeup that I never use because I never touch up my makeup. Um, <laughs> I just carry it more for the weight. Um, like I said before, this bag is quite flimsy. This isn't heavy, I don't carry much. I'll show you guys what I have in here, but I just carry it to give my bag a little bit more shape. So here is the purse kit that I was talking about before. This helps me organize all the tiny things in my bag. There's a little hook here for your keys, which I really like. I don't like digging around my purse for keys, so I like that I can just hang them right there. I have my pens in here. I usually keep my iPhone in here. I don't have it in here today. Then I have my headphones. These are Skull Candy headphones. I got these for really cheap. They were like seven, eight dollars on Skull Candy's eBay site. They were on sale a while ago, but they retail for like twenty-nine, thirty dollars. But I really like these a lot. What else do I have in here? Gum. I like this gum, it's cheap and it lasts forever. And then I have hand sanitizer, this is Burt's Bees hand sanitizer, it's like a spray. Lotion, can't go without lotion, my skin is always so dry, especially in the winter, so this is a must have. Sea Island Cotton from Bath & Body Works. And in here is just my feminine care products, so tampons and panty liners. Um, I use this like, I got this tampon holder case sample. And I just use it to hold panty liners. <laughs> TMI for some of you guys. Um, but yeah, tampons. And then I have band-aids in here in case like my shoes give me blisters. Which I haven't really had an issue with lately just because my Tory Burch flats are finally broken in. So those band-aids were in there when I was breaking in my Tory Burch flats. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I'll show you guys what's in my makeup bag. From Victoria's Secret. I got it a while back. It was like... I don't remember how much it was. So in here I carry my rosebud. Um, this I use for my lips. And I have this Josie Moran cream blush stick. I never use this stuff. I don't even know why I carry it. I, I really like never touch up my makeup ever when I go out. And I have my Makeup Forever lip gloss. I really love this. This is a sample size. I usually carry sample size stuff in my purse just to save space and this is my Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner in black. It's almost gone. This is my favorite pencil eyeliner. This is so sad. <laughs> it's like so tiny. Perfume. A compact mirror from Sephora. And Maybelline's Dream Matte Powder. It has a puff inside so that's why I don't carry a brush. A hair tie, always need a hair tie just in case, and concealer and highlighter. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Honestly, I really don't use any of these. I'm just carrying it in here just in case, and also to add weight to my bag. I know it's silly, but I don't like when my bag is really light just because the handles don't stay on my shoulders and they kind of fall off. So I don't mind carrying a little bit more weight in my purse. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it for my what's in my bag video. I hope it was helpful for you guys in terms of purse organization. I will be doing a blog post with more information, so be sure to check the info box below for a link. And as always, you can tweet me with any questions or leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!